So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. None of this shit should have happened. You don't know the half of it. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner the better. If it can be sealed... You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Need something? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while, but he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. In the book, you say that first Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how, but the why, all I can say is he was desperate. There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arishok. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arishok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, we will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars, so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the Raiders. She's calling herself an Admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's little sister is in the Free Marches, helping some of the other survivors from the Kirkwall Circle. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. How many families? are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves. Yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstart eager to turn over every apple cart. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however.
How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royale. I pray you're right. Do you think the mages will be able to seal the breach? I heard some speak of using the Templars instead. Oh. If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're her. Thryn, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logan McTeer. Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Logain McTeer betrayed the Grey Wardens and his king. Were you there at Ostagar? I was. King Caelan overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting a signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Logain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it.
What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. Farewell. Make a go with you. Too many wounded, and not enough bandages to go around. How can you be so calm with everything you believe? something carry on with passion and breath does the darkness Research in the nave wishes to verify that the infection. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? She should see fire and go towards Not as well as it should. How can people focus on trivialities when faced with the breach? It is easy for us to imagine that mundane matters fall aside in tumultuous times. The Chant of Light does not speak of feeding troops or arranging meetings or any such mundane concern. But every organizational detail you contend with, Andraste herself once faced. These trivialities are steps on your path to victory, even if history never remembers them. You realize that I follow my people's gods, not the Maker. Fair enough. But Andraste lived, and her deeds, however shrouded by myth, have their basis in fact. If you do not believe the Chant of Light, at least consider it a map of the dangers you might face. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor.
what have your ears heard, Leliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. still mourns. Just a guess, Seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Beric. My Lady Herald! You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect... El Royal. Hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no elf in our hour of need. Enough! I will not listen to these self-serving lies. We came here to talk. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. I was just about to do that myself. As if I would do anything for your pleasure. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. 
the only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Templars, one of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. <laughs> A staunch and loyal member of the Order. So loyal, he abandoned them for a false herald. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition Less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago. After Lord Seeker Lambert's death, he was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. It doesn't look like we'll be getting the Templars to help us after all. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. This victory must please you 